We were all very nervous. You think about all the things that could go wrong. I was just getting antsier and antsier as we got closer and closer. I was uh, a little paranoid having uh, been through one uh, uh, not so good landing. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. We were exuberant that uh, everything had gone well. The room went crazy and it was just a really great experience. This is a room of very serious people usually and they were just jumping for joy. The landing was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> on the very night of the landing, ChemCam was turned on and we did a little check out. It just showed us that the instrument was working perfectly up to what we could tell and so we were overjoyed. And then uh, it was about Sol, or day 13, we call them Sols on Mars, uh, when uh, we were actually able to fire the laser. The morning that we were to get the data down after, after this day 13 firing, uh, I went in a little early. Uh, Dot DeLapp was in, from, she's our, our data person from Los Alamos. And, uh, and uh, we were just settling in and Dot jumped up and said, the data is already in. We were all uh, a little bit slap happy there to see the data starting to come down from so far away after so much work. And uh, the data turned out to be beautiful and as well as we, uh, as good a data as we could have hoped for. I mean, we had never seen such a beautiful spectrum. I mean, it was beyond our wildest dreams. It was so beautiful. So the first rock that we shot was a rock that was uh, relatively generic. We saw silicon, oxygen, uh, in abundance, which uh, typifies these rocks. And then we also saw iron, magnesium, calcium, sodium, and potassium. And on the very first shot, we saw a little bit of hydrogen. Hydrogen can be a difficult peak to really understand, but we've definitely seen it. So we know it's there. So now the question is, what form is it in? ChemCam has been used extensively over the, over the last uh, 25 days. We now have fired almost 5,000 laser shots. Uh, at about 80 different uh, targets or, uh, or points of analysis and uh, we've, it's been working just perfectly. Soon we're going to be transitioning from uh, doing all our operations at Jet Propulsion Laboratory on Martian time to coming back to our home institutions, in this case Los Alamos National Laboratory, and running operations more on business hours. I'm very thrilled to be part of this and to be uh, able to uh, participate and help this uh, investigation move forward. It's a profound experience because um, very few people get to do this, so I, I'm just really happy to be involved.